Hi Church, my name's Laura and uh, I'm a part of our central Manchester location, also involved with Audacious Foundation, which is all about changing lives and transforming communities. And uh, today I wanted to um, really just talk about uh, lessons on relationships and specifically looking at the relationship between Mark and Paul in the Bible. And uh, before we get into it, let me just share a quick story with you. It was uh, a few years ago and I was working uh, in different countries throughout Asia and the role that I had involved traveling between um, different cities and adapting to new cultures uh, and languages on, uh, on a weekly or monthly basis. And so, as you can imagine, it was a really fantastic experience, um, but I also had to depend a lot on uh, support from people who knew the language, who knew the culture and customs of the uh, cities that I was in, and in particular, I had to depend on translators and interpreters um, to get by and to do what I needed to do. And I remember uh, specifically one day being let down uh, by a team member who spoke their local language, not through any fault of their own, but because they were ill. And so I found myself having to navigate uh, a foreign language by myself in a city that I uh, didn't fully uh, know or understand uh, how it worked. And it came to lunchtime and I went to a local market store to order my lunch, uh, somewhere where I'd been on a daily basis. And so I felt quite confident um, as I went up to the vendor and tried my best to speak uh, in Chinese and to order uh, chicken and rice, which I'd eaten pretty much every day. And because there weren't any pictures as usual that I could point towards, I just had to uh, rely on what I'd learned from my translator. And so I made, uh, I put in an order um, with uh, the people on the stall and felt quite confident when I left. I'd paid for the meal and went to sit down and uh, really thought that they'd understood exactly what I, uh, what I wanted to order. Um, but you can imagine um, the, the... <laughs> the humour but also the horror um, that I had when they delivered my meal and it wasn't chicken and rice that I'd ordered, it was actually uh, a bowl of broth with uh, pig's hooves inside and so um, I didn't eat that day <laughs> and uh, I, I'm sure that you might have uh, in the same way been let down by somebody that you depended on. And if you have, then you're in good company. In Acts 15, we read about the relationship between Mark and Paul, something which is referenced uh, at different points in the New Testament. And Mark was a helper uh, of Paul and Barnabas on their first missionary journey. And something happened on the trip, um, which is not quite clear through uh, what the Bible tells us, um, but caused uh, it caused Mark to abandon um, his friends and ultimately to lose Paul's trust in him. And so you can read from Acts chapter 15, uh, verse 36 to 41, um, and uh, it says that sometime, sometime later, uh, Paul said to Barnabas, let's go back and visit the believers in all the towns where we preach the word of the Lord to see how they're doing. That was their first missionary journey. And uh, Barnabas wanted to take John, also called Mark, with them, but Paul didn't think it was wise to take him because he had deserted them and had not continued with them in the work. And they had such a sharp disagreement that they parted company. Barnabas took Mark and sailed for Cyprus, but Paul chose Silas and left, uh, commended by the believers to the grace of the Lord. And the Bible says he went through Syria and Cilicia, strengthening the churches. So Mark departs for Cyprus with Barnabas and Paul returns to strengthen the early church with Silas. Um, and so uh, the group of them split over a, a, a division, um, but that is not the end of their story. Years later, Mark is uh, with Paul, who calls him a fellow worker in Philemon chapter 1, verse 24. And near the end of Paul's life, Paul sends a request to Timothy from uh, where, where he was in a Roman prison and says, get Mark and bring him with you because he's helpful to me in my ministry. That's 2 uh, Timothy verse, uh, chapter 4, verses 11. And so uh, really the encouragement that I wanted to bring is that 
no matter how many times that you have been let down by others or perhaps you have let somebody else down. Uh, don't forget that our failings and our shortcomings don't need to be the end of our story. Through his grace, God allows us to overcome disappointment and brings restoration to all of our relationships. And so in the same way as uh, Paul did with Mark, why don't you surrender any hurt or disagreements that you might be carrying uh, and allow God to work in those situations and ultimately for him to turn them around for uh, his good and for our good. Uh, we know that when we forgive others, we're giving God um, the authority to work in our relationships and, the, and to transform them, to turn them around for his glory. I hope you have a fantastic day to day, church, and um, continue to enjoy the rest of the devotions this week, focusing on uh, lessons in relationships. Take care.